This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Here's here's how I introduce so our guest, B. The Rutola twins. And uh, the boys, the, the boys. boys, all the boys. You, <laughs> the first thing I noticed is Just they've been boys. they've been rolling since they were three, and you guys don't have cauliflower ears. That's the first thing. Secondly. I swear to God, I can't believe you're not surfers because you have surfer energy. No, they are surfers. You are surfers. Like high level. You're high level surfers too. Yeah, he was just in Costa Rica. He was like in Hawaii. Because you were talking about surfing. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> they no, seem they're like monsters, man. So, so you yeah, spend your time rolling and surfing. There's nothing better. Henso, Henso, you said, Henso Gracie said, if he hadn't been into that into jiu-jitsu, he would have been a surfer because in yeah. Brazil... They just would hit the waves, right. and then they would. It's like peanut butter and jelly, like yeah. surfing, jiu-jitsu. Well, that's li- most high-level uh, guys uh, I know are really good. Hand-eye coordination, balance. Yeah. There's so yeah. many. Like, yeah, yeah. that's like, living. You're exactly. that's that's the way. But be imagine life. being 18, being how, at their how, level. Wait, you're 18? Uh, no, 20. 20, okay. 20 now, 20 but 20 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So imagine being at their age, but you guys been doing this for how long? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like at this level. Since before I can remember. You got your black belt at 18. 17 yeah. years, 18, yeah. right? 18 years old. 18 years old, yeah, the black belt. Imagine being 18 years old. black belt, and then you're surfing, competing high level jiu jitsu. I like, mean, I mean, your dad got it right, man. Thank you. He <laughs> got it the, right. We're clones of our pops, pretty much. That's Is your like, dad that way? We, we started surfing. Bring the mic closer. Every, every, yeah, sorry. We, we started like training, surfing. Everything at the same time. We're like three years old. That's him right there. Oh, dad is time. time. Dad's a black belt. Dad's a hottie matati. He's a hottie matati. I strive to be like him. He can still get barreled in overhead (laughs) waves. Really? Black belt subs many people. He's a a dad. You know, all of us want to believe our dads can beat up your dad. Your dad can beat up everybody. He's he's a savage. And he'll steal and he'll steal your mom too. Yeah, that's it's it's classic because all of our friends going up. You're like your dad is so scary. Like. Like he's so intimidating. We're like, really? Like we just never see it. It's yeah, our pops. You don't you know, see you, it. You yeah. don't see it in your pots. So all of our friends are like, that's and, crazy. And, so you, cool. and your your dad since a young age was like, I he didn't have to push you guys in jitsu, but if you see dad doing, it, that's your hero. You right. guys just organically did it. And then he was like, damn, maybe we got something here. Exactly. It, I mean, it was before, before we were training. Yeah. He was always messing with us, you know, just throwing us around, you know. And so we knew before we were on, potty yeah. trained. I mean, we were like in diapers, and he was just messing around with us all the time, wrestling <laughs> with us and stuff. That's what we literally. That was the only thing holding us back at the time from from actually doing a jitsu class was really? the fact that we weren't potty trained. Yeah. When and did then, you? When and then they potty trained us, and boom! All right, did, we're into. Did, class. Did, Dad's like, they can yeah. do it. They just shit their. Pants. Exactly. <laughs> that is my, if they shit on did the you mat. guys ever have? <laughs> did, did you ever feel like was there ever a moment where you were like oh this is i'm really good at this or was it always just of what you did so it just kind of it would happen organically it was super organic yeah so organic, organic. Yeah, this is what whatever. you did second nature yeah it wasn't until else, like really until we started landing our first couple sponsors and, and yeah. we first started making our first bits of money and we started feeling like pressure when we started competing like what, that. what, it wasn't what age is that, that brother what age was that when you first started like 12 right Damn. Yeah. Give, or, give or take we yeah, got like, sponsored by Ruka at like 11, I think we were, right? Yeah, yeah, like 11, 11 or 12. Imagine yeah. Ruka. Ruka's massive. It's a big Ma- company. Big building yeah. company, especially that long ago. Yeah. Like massive. Had You're you- 11. So would you go to school? I'm like, what are we doing? At, at that point, that was pretty much when we started homeschooling from that, then on. So it was like, I think f- fourth or fifth grade we started. Yeah, fourth yeah, grade on, fourth we grade. started homeschooling. And your pops, like, obviously he doesn't plan this stuff, but if you're going to, he, he, he ran with it. Yeah, he's exactly. like, all right, that's what we're gonna do. You're gonna train. The plan really? is always pretty clear. At that point, we were pretty much always in the adult classes already, you know. So it, that was mostly in the morning, the training. Was so your dad a teacher of jujitsu or just a practitioner? He did teach. He did yeah. teach, but uh, he's both. M- yeah. Mostly a practitioner, but uh, he, wherever we were training, he'd also if they needed help. You know, he was, up until we were twelve, he taught us pretty much everything. Really? Uh, yeah. So now, now that you guys are competing like this, do you feel you have to constantly evolve and? And look at what other people are doing. Do, do you do do you feel like you have to like know what the wrestlers are doing? What the how does that work? Yeah, that's just part of staying at the top. You know, you yeah. gotta always be evolving, and making sure that nobody's you know on some new stuff that you haven't figured out yet. You know, Damn. there's always some stuff you got to you know that you haven't quite figured out, and there's so many moving parts. So it's just making sure you're at the top of as much as you can be. You know? a, a lot of it is the the guys chasing you guys though too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of it's that mm-hmm. you know. 
That's, true. that's been what them. I've been noticing a lot. To trying to keep up with them. Yeah, a lot of now you're starting to see a lot of the same techniques that we were kind of known for using. I see a lot of the guys starting to kind of replicate it. It's kind of using some of the same strategies and things like that. So and, and it's what, interesting and to see. What moms say when dad was like, "Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna homeschool these little bastards, and then we're just gonna train nonstop." <laughs> my mom was more down for it. Make money. Yeah, my mom is very gnarly. She, my yeah, mom is so fun. Was it, so was she an athlete as well, or just she just? Yeah, she grew she, up doing. Sports. in her prime she had a bit of a neck injury it kind of like kept her out of jiu-jitsu she started training a little bit um she paddled canoe a lot growing up so she wow. did like a, a random thing she lived in uh maui for like eight years oh, that's where we were born actually so yeah you're born it. in hawaii right yeah then, exactly and is that where you started first started surfing no yeah. we, we moved from there when we were very young like a year, a year old or something like that yeah i don't remember my time there but uh so we were, we were raised in huntington beach california i think it's interesting too because in, in jiu-jitsu especially when i was coming up it was almost like a baseball vibe where you don't want to shine with your personality. And now with social media and the direction jiu-jitsu is going, like what Eddie's done with EBI, you know, there's so many different avenues. Now you can make big right. time money being a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Mm -hmm. It's like these personalities are coming out, man. And it's, it's gaining more fans and more fans. It's, that's it. You, I mean, you guys are getting... one of the reasons, you know? Right. You like, go, go, <laughs> it's like you guys, like you guys... Dude, your guys' personality, I mean, if you want to make it in Hollywood, probably could very easily make it. Yep. Like, you just have to be badass. Like, stay out <laughs> of here. We, we did one Metro PCS conversion. <laughs> yeah, 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 what's yeah, up, yeah. Yeah. Two for one. <laughs> Two for one. It was It was It was It was hilarious. Really funny, man. Like, the wow. twins off Big Daddy. No, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah, it's, it's rare. In jiu-jitsu now, all these personalities are coming out. And the ones that are coming out, they just have to be the very best in the world, tip of the spare, and then the best personalities. Right. It's great to see. Like, you look at Gordon Ryan, Craig Jones, who we talked about, you boys. There's, like, so many badasses, man. Right. It's, the know, sport's just yeah. flourishing. It's great for the sport. It's and then like one championship said, yeah. comes along and was like, all right, well, now you guys can be professionals. Right. I want to give you a world title. Mm -hmm. I was right. Like I said, I was at your fight in Denver. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I got that one done, super stoked, and then got the title since then. We both got the title, yeah, for one now, so we're super stoked yeah, in there. And they corner each other? I say, well, of course. He went, he went against an MMA guy who's a stud, but I was telling him it it, it never made sense to me when they do MMA versus no. high-level grappler because no. the MMA no. guy is not going to play the game, so yeah. it's not that exciting. Well, why? Because the MMA guy going stalls going and keeps going. Going. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's difficult, you know, like in jiu-jitsu, it, it requires two guys to really want to fight, you know, to make it exciting, you know, and you, you don't really know who wants to fight until they're in there, you know, so it's tough. But I'd uh, imagine MMA is more just trying to neutralize so they, they can blast you in the face as opposed to, you know, engaging. Yeah, but the, no, I'm, I'm saying they're doing straight jiu-jitsu. Right. It's an MMA guy who, right. he's a black belt, but there's black belts, There's right? Like, I have a black belt. <laughs> I don't have yeah. a black belt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's a big different black belt. Have you ever rolled with an MMA guy? That gave you fits? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh <laughs> yeah. well, don't yeah. try to be humble. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah. He goes, he goes, yeah, I'm sure. I don't think <laughs> I don't think Brian realizes how good you guys are at jujitsu. <laughs> no, no I, there, I there's some very tough, like like, you know, MMA guys out there without a doubt. Yeah, I'm, like uh, name a few. Dorino for <laughs> Dorino for sure is oh, tough. monster. You know Dorino. who's uh surprisingly tough was you know he's not really known for his jujitsu, but Luke Rockhold has great jujitsu. Oh, yeah. Luke Rockhold's oh, yeah, a monster. Luke drove yeah, me nuts because I knew how good he was at grappling and he would never use it. And he would never I'm use like, it. Exactly. <laughs> like, World champion, take these fucking guys just down. Yeah, yeah. He, he's got. He's busy with Khabib and all those guys over at AKA. John Fitch. That's who we. He was he Daniel Cormier. Mm. He was training with. He learned from Daniel Cormier and Cain Velasquez. They all came up. Just yeah. Just like know, he yeah. can surf too. That's right. Luke. His brother, yeah. I think, was a professional. Professional. Surfer. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Luke's a serious uh, athlete. He's bigger than you guys too. He's a big Luke, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Luke's massive. Yeah, dude. Luke's two twenty. Yeah, Luke. What do you guys Luke's weigh? Luke's my height. One ninety, probably, probably like close to. Uh, I'm in between one seventy five, one eighty right now. And guys, and guys. That's a wrestling 185. That's a grappling 185. Yeah, that's, that's some density. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> that's classic. But it's true. It is a different thing. Mean, what else is interesting? I mean, it just happens. Like, even in the podcast or comedy world, there's like these beefs. In jiu-jitsu, I feel like now it's like there's always these beefs. That's yeah. good for that, drama. Yeah, it's good for drama into, and people yeah. pick up on it. Who like, got to, yeah, sell the show. There, there's beef. Like, didn't, you guys had beef with Gordon Ryan a little bit, right? So like, Gordon's my time. boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gordon's, sure. I love him, man. But I, your it, teacher. It was all just little small petty things that started, you know, escalating. And, and then the social media gets a hold of it, and it's like, you know, Real Housewives of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Exactly. You know, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Hey, B, let's take a little break, dude.
Let's take a break. I'll Let's tell you what. Unlike the Rotolo twins, uh, I won't be in Costa Rica, but I will be in Chicago. In Chicago. Friday, Saturday, both shows. Doing a jiu-jitsu seminar? Or? Again, not like them, dude. Okay, you'll no, be doing I'll, stand-up comedy? Yep, I'll Got be it. on stage. So my life's not as cool as uh, no, those I guys. I but understand. I will be in freezing Chicago, December 8th and 9th. That's this good, Thursday good, and Friday. Good, 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 good. I'm in Nashville and Austin. Get your tickets at thickboy.com. Well, you know what's funny is this weekend, starting tomorrow, I'll be at the Helium Comedy Club in Indianapolis. I said it out it's loud. It's not warm there either. No, it's not, buddy. And then uh, Spokane Comedy Club, where I want to go goose hunting. I don't know if that's going to happen. But if I'm not goose hunting, Brennan, I'll be doing stand up the December 15th and 16th. Great at club. Spokane Comedy Club. I can't wait. And then off the hook. I'm not stopping. Can't stop. Won't stop. Why Naples, would you? Florida, December 21 to 23, and then Comedy Zone, Charlotte, North Carolina, December 29 to 31. Dude, so, you know what would make these dates easier if you had a gallon of macadamia milk. Well, you know what's funny is if you go to House of Macadamias and you get the healthiest nut on the planet for you with omega seven fatty mm. acids, that is great for satiety. That a lot of people that are into longevity take macadamia nuts although they're super expensive but guess what house of macadamia has cornered they figured the it out they dude. got 90 farmers they work with all right and they're giving you a gallon of macadamia milk i put in my coffee it is silky smooth well it's buttery it tastes buttery and nutty and delicious and yeah. it's not if you're lactose intolerant don't worry about it because it's 100 percent pure macadamia and you can get that free gallon of macadamia milk when you visit house of macadamias.com slash tfak just add the milk to your cart with any products use the code tfak that's House of Macadamias.com slash TFAK. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. Gordon's out of your weight class. He's a giant anyway. So He's it's massive. Like, right. but, but they still have to go, you know, in absolute ADCC. Exactly. Yeah. 100%. So they have to, the it's the funniest thing is when you watch them, especially when they're kids, going against grown men and rolling them up. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being a grown man. Like, look at these two. Yeah, there, are, that, that was, there are 14-year-olds that will, will take you as a grown man. It was man. them, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It was that was these always, fucking That two. was always us growing up, you know, taking on the bigger guys. It's Jeez. like Gordon's still on the list for sure, you know. Is it's he? always kind of this like, yeah, he's for he sure. He knows it. The man sure knows it. it, yeah. I think that's what even a lot of our drama came through. He's good at like creating it, you know. What oh I mean? yeah, he's, like, oh, he's the best about numbers yeah. and that kind of stuff. And, you and, know? Yeah, and he he's talks a about brilliant all guy. Yeah. Yeah. brilliant guy. But the, the thing too with it, like it's good for everybody. What Gordon's doing, you know, Gordon's a seven figure athlete, bro. Yeah, seven figure in jujitsu. Gordon don't have to do shit. He's super. Gordon, hard, yeah. Gordon just does, you know, his his online seminars. He posted a thing. Someone's making fun of his like money or something. He's like, say what, son, and posted how much yeah. he makes a month. He, like that's a well, he going, answers as back. much as we hate him like as much people hate him together, yeah. like he's he's a high high level businessman set a new course, standard yeah. financially that's yeah. well, he's sure. also yeah. he's also incredible at what he does you, who hates him how do you hate, you can have beef it's fun but to hate an artist of that level yeah. like hating you guys like when you get that good at something that it takes everything to be that good Right. right how many hours a day do you practice have to Honestly. respect what he's doing yeah. and, and the time that he's putting into his craft you know 100 especially in a world like the thing about jujitsu is is it's pretty much been corrupted by steroids for, for yeah. forever so everyone's been on steroids so it's almost it's almost like it, how is it cheating if everyone's doing it i feel right. like it's their mindset you know what i mean yeah. going mm -hmm. into it so it's like it's, it is hard to say like yeah you can't disregard everything he's done because everyone else is doing it too yes you know what i it's mean it's like baseball back in the day when they hate on like right. barry bond sammy yeah. so i'm like yeah but the pitchers run still yeah. Yeah. yeah so who's exactly. at fault it's here, like every you know, you know so it, yeah exactly that's like the the, the argument i guess you, you can make but yeah. also like the true essence of jiu-jitsu at least what always was was the smaller guy beating the bigger Correct. guy you know and the, and the that's, that's why we're known as like the roots that's why we try to keep it as roots you know the, uh, as natural as possible you know because you, we, that's you in three years just trapped you've seen out the great you know the smaller grace you take on this huge guy and all of a sudden he's choking him out you know, yeah how did that guy just beat him you know and that was my dad he was always super into that and you know i feel like over time jiu-jitsu has been it's been starting to lose that you know like that that it has a little bit, and I think, um, and it's nobody's fault. It's just entertainment. And when yeah. you don't have those regulations in place, guys are going to go wild. Right. Like I, when That's I was happening in, in the law sports, right? In the every sport. Sports, like when I was in the sport. UFC, if I could have got away with it just to compete, I probably would have done steroids. Yeah. But I, just, I couldn't afford it. Right. And the, the guys I was fine against could. Yeah. But. If you, I, there was no reason not to. Like in baseball, it's like, why not do it? Why not? And then I signed a seven-year, four hundred million dollar contract. You know. Yeah. But if you guys get, you guys are bringing it back to the the, the root, like you said, the roots. Yeah. Where nice. Jujitsu got away from that because I think they couldn't get attention. You know, like you, you guys, there's so many badasses, man. There's just you weren't getting the viewership, you weren't getting the attention. Right. And then these monsters come out. Like you watch Gordon Ryan, like Jesus Christ, yeah, man. Yeah. 
animal animal, <laughs> animal. That's that's gonna make it so much better when you like, get it naturally you exactly know? it's coming that's, soon you know it's coming soon i know it's gonna take a lot that's longer gonna be wild. you know but yeah it's on you know well, yeah, I can't wait for that. There's a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, there's a purity like that you guys represent. You know, I, I think that's an important thing to hold on to. Hundred percent. It's I, weird because you guys have been famous for, uh, in especially in the jiu-jitsu world since you were I don't know three shit in your pants, <laughs> yeah. and then now, yeah, you guys are. I mean, they're not jaded. You know, there's no, no. ego. There's no. Well, but it might be because you're always competing and always working. And it sounds to me, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys do a lot of rolling together. So uh, yeah. metal sharpens metal, right? Like that's it. A million and ten percent. I mean, yeah. it must be so weird to have the same kind of bodies and almost brains and you're rolling together how does that work well, is like, it constantly it's said all the time it's a sport like chess you know you're yeah. always trying to guess your opponent's next move right but and you're kind of wrestling and when you have a twin brother you already kind of know his next move anyway you yeah know? so then when you roll together so much your whole lives it's just like like even you can i can fight someone so big so strong I, yeah it's always worse fighting my brother yeah you because know? technique always. is always more scary than strength yeah. really. like we know what we want to do so far ahead of what we know when we're actually doing it you know so it's always just like a mental battle exactly do you then find like do you find tired. though that you're competitive do you find like if he pushes you're going to push back is 100%. it is it just oh, yeah. natural right you can't help it i can't yeah we push and harder with each other than we do anyone else do, you know i've heard Surfing, stories jiu-jitsu. yeah i've heard stories about you guys where what? you'll clear the mat where it'll be like like you start rolling and then pretty soon an hour later you're still going at it is that true? <laughs> the, the thing and we get so physical you know there's things like like we, we roll with each other like we would never roll with other people you know what yeah. i mean like it gets to a <laughs> level of intensity that yeah. we could never like feel good about doing that to someone else you know what i mean but it's our brother so we could slap you know and it's all good yeah, yeah, been yeah. Doing it forever, but yeah. it's like you know there's some days where i've even seen my Ange like uh, professor in, uh, angelica like with her mouth open like <laughs> like we're just slap boxing basically you know oh, both slaps and back it's all and good after, just like yeah. and then afterwards it's all love you know so do you, do maybe you, a little eggy for like a minute or two but do you, do you, do you, <laughs> do you practice eggy. with wrestlers do you do any takedown stuff like with the dagestani stuff like that or russian um, not system? with them in particular we always worked all of kind of the forms of martial arts and just growing up you know wrestling judo you, did uh, we, you know hop into like some high school wrestling classes some oh, nice. you know random judo schools things like that and so we always just my parents were always really good at just kind of making sure we were like well versed everywhere well -rounded. trying to keep us well rounded and yeah. you stayed injury free which is my impression That's, of everybody who does jujitsu is this I got it. Nah, I got I'm getting back into it yeah. right now I'm just right. it's like the crossfit guys yeah they're yeah. always injured same shit but did you, your your parents they had to put, put putting you guys in this. There had to be a, a a plan, right? Like there was a plan as far as because they they would you, they couldn't just be like right no school today just do right. jujitsu. So I'm I'm that's a good question. I'm so curious about your dad. Like right. as a dad, it, it'd be hard for me to pull him out of school. I'm like these kids got it because everyone thinks right. their kid has it, especially with where jujitsu was at that point yes, too, man. right? Like that's, that's no a good, money. that's a good, yeah. you know, especially at that time, like, you know, jujitsu got the best of the best weren't really making money off no, of competing. They were making money off of once they got that championship title, then they can teach seminars, open up their gyms. And it was almost like a college degree, you know yeah, what I mean? Man. And then you can, you know, kind of work off. Yeah, that. Usually people get so good at jujitsu and then the, the plan is just open a gym. Right. That, that's right. where you make your money. Right. right. It'd be right. tough to want that for your kids, you yeah, know, like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's a good life. But, but I, think, yeah. I think the second that Ruka sponsorship, that show your rule sponsorship, the second we started getting some some real money, and you know we're like, hold on, they're they're yeah. they're kids, and they're making our well, you know fifteen hundred bucks each. Back already, then, Ken know? and I were somewhere like the only kids making YouTube videos, you know, like highlight ones. You know, yeah. my mom was putting them together, clipping them wow. together, and then those are starting to actually get you know some views, some, some traction. Yeah, right? and we I feel like we were kind of like the first kids to kind of start you know having some sort of following you know as yeah, that's kids. massive that's, that's your yeah, mom and dad so they were like oh this could kind of go somewhere you yeah, know and then nuts. we got that first sponsorship from ruka and then they're like okay we're committed it's kind of wild to commit to something like that you know it's, it's, it's what the yeah. risk you obviously yeah it's the reward but <laughs> yeah. it's just like damn mom there, there was very i feel like just very few like kids in, in in the world at that time that had been training since they were potty trained you know what i mean so especially like, in jiu-jitsu exactly. yeah. yeah. jiu you know? in particular there's wow. very few in the world at that time right so it's like that's such a small percentage, you know, as long as we kind of stay with it. My yeah. son is in jujitsu right now. It's the first thing at 12 Epic. that he's taken to like a fish to water. No way. Like there's yeah. something about it that he, he just, he couldn't, he didn't like team sports. And the minute he got on a mat and he started learning stuff, he, he got, he got obsessed. That's so and sad. now he, he has to go. It's like, I don't have to motivate him. 
That's so. You know, it's so cool. It's such it a it's a you. it's such a game changer, man. It, it really, I've it's seen it. I've seen it all. I've seen kids that hate it their first month, and then all of a sudden, you know, like mm -hmm. one day something just some clicks. Yeah, something yeah. clicks, and they love it. Or every do you day. guys do you guys ever suffer from? I know some twins suffer from my identity crisis a little bit, right? Because you're both these badass world champions, <laughs> but it's t you're twins. Right. I mean, even though he grew his hair out, yeah. you still look exactly the same. <laughs> same yeah. I love that hair. I wish I could have hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> when, he, when he grew it out, we're like, what the fuck are you yeah, doing? So, dude? Yeah, I'd yeah, be yeah, so yeah, good dog, looking if I had hair like that. So much conditioner. At the end of the day, I think so much conditioner. It's for real. Long, I'm like, real. what's going on? You start spending money in condition. You start noticing it. You're like, spending money in condition. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Take it from a guy with hair like mine. That's worth it. That shit's worth it. <laughs> Brian has no choice, man. Yeah, man, I got no choice but to keep Father it. Father times his barber. Mouse yeah. brown. Yeah. So Divots. Classic. So classic. Classic, man. Yeah, but um, yeah, would your but, parents, I, I hate when people do this with twins, when they dress them the same. Would right. Your no, do when that? we were real young, we did that. You yeah, know? yeah. And then yeah, we started growing up. We're like, all right, we're gonna clip that, stop yeah, that immediately. Man. Yeah, that was pretty quick. We clipped that. Do you yeah, ever get burnt out from jujitsu? Do you ever get tired of it? Do you ever think about? I mean, how do you keep yourself? Our parents were always so good at us. You know, they worked us super hard. You know, we were training a lot, but anytime that we got burnt out, we'd go surf or go to Costa Rica. Yeah. You, okay. Every once, you, I feel like as a family, we'd go to Costa Rica for a month once a year. You know? wow. I think and what made them very okay with us taking breaks is like we'd go take that month break or whatever, right? And we just wouldn't touch jujitsu for the month, and we'd come home and we'd be training better than yes. before. Yeah, like, you come were back refreshed and just and we were missing it, you know, and we were just like excited to be there and we were just all fired, fired up. up. Uh, yeah, just smashing. God, your parents it. figured it out. They figured it's it out. Not, it's mind blowing to me. Out. But <laughs> it also they also had two kids that had a certain constitution. You know, you you you. There are some people. It sounds like you just. Not everybody can do what you do. You you obviously had something that took to it, and and, and I genetics. think the hardest thing. Well, it's also the the hardest thing is just being able to show up every day, right. and right. and that's not easy. I think it was expected though. Mm. Yeah, like, you know what? There's, there's certain there's certain parents that have expectations. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah, it was. What's the saying? It feels like you're you're hardly working, you know, but you're working hard. You know? Yeah, that's what it was our whole lives. Mm -hmm. You know, like it just felt like part of life going to jujitsu. You know. And, mm -hmm. And that's why we were homeschooling. Honestly, you know? we f we felt like it, we were taking the easy route out. We we're like, we don't have to go to school, like like proper <laughs> proper school. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like amazing. we don't have to go to college. Like yeah. Like how, I'm, how many I'm hours over a day? It. I just want to fight. How many, how many hours a day did you roll? Have you do would you as a kid? Um, growing up, it was a lot. Yeah. I'd say growing up, we trained more growing up than we do now on a, on a <laughs> weekly basis. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that shit. Yeah. Yeah. It, but for, to your dad's credit, like if we're gonna do this, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do you it. Know what They're I'm so committed. Yeah. They're what does your dad private. do? Was he what, for a living? What what got him to? Back then, he was uh, shaping surfboards and doing construction. Wow. You know? And then uh, back then, uh, you know, his job got a little bit shaky right when we got sponsored by Ruka. You know, and that's when it was on. You know, as far as jiu jitsu goes. We I think that's on. another reason why it was so super. You know, they were so like hands on you were their job they seen yeah they seen the future that that we can you know that they could. saw something there do you guys feel off. pressure from that at all not I really i feel like still no at way. that age yeah. we were still so like just like just what la -la -la -land. yeah, yeah. La -la -land. i mean literally just didn't surfing even really think about it that way we're just like oh we're just surfing and training you know it still didn't feel like work at that time yeah because there's my son's in, base, in baseball he's a pretty good baseball player and there's some dads on that team i can feel the pressure they put on their son like yeah. man this ain't it bud the kids playing seven days a week. Oh, yeah. They're playing. In, he's, Were they athletes seven. like you though? The fathers? No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. There you go. No, no. There you go. Like I think like, I just I feel bad for the kids. I'm like, oh, man, I see dude. the wrestling tournaments, so, bro. So gnarly. you see those dads? It's like you want this. He doesn't, dude. Right. Give him a break. The kid's like 12 pounds dehydrated. He's got like six ringworms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let him Stab. go home. Oh, <laughs> Stab. Yeah. 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 My like, gosh. That's hectic. It is what it takes, but I think it's really interesting that like you've gotten to this point as a competitor and you don't think of it as work. That's what I think is interesting. You guys seem so easy drilling. going, man. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's such a real To what degree do you refreshing. drill? Like how much is there in drilling to get super good at something like John Donahue has talked about like it takes 5 years if you tr f train like 5 hours a day, you can get five really years for good what, at anything. Right? John Donahue said anybody if you really want to get really good at anything, whether it's guitar, jiu-jitsu, if you take five years, you train five hours a day with the right teacher, you can get world class at anything, right? Right, right? Now, whether or not that's true, you have to have to consistent yeah. put in the time. That's like but, saying but, if you but, eat a lot of food, you're gonna get big. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 no, what is yeah, also, what no degree shit. is that like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No shit. Yeah. 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 As far as world class, I disagree with him. Well, I that's not true. Yeah. 
But 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 what would you say? Uh, how, to what ratio is it drilling? Where you drill versus live wrestle? Well, everyone that's, that's a learns a different way too. You know, yeah. like for my brother and that's I. That's the number one thing that I've noticed. Like out of all things, everyone there's not one path to victory. There's not one right way. Every single person has a different way to do things. You know, some people may like work out twice a day, three times a day. My brother and I, we don't really work out at all. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean obviously we do body weight, we do sure. surfing, we do like different, you know, different yeah. types of exercise. You're not at Gold's Gym. like We're not at Gold's Gym pumping them. iron. You yeah. know, I mean, the amount of people, every single one of my professors are telling, oh, you need to sit there, like lift all these no, weights. Man. No, 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 that's not what we do. You know, it's just like, I, I've tried it like, you know, a month in and I just didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't like it. Just like, tight I started in my tight, yeah. my joints didn't feel good. Yeah, no. I'm like, dude, some people who have these, they can't even lock a darts. They can't even lock a yep. buggy choke. I'm like, I like the mobility, you know, I like, so yeah. I feel like every, everyone has a different, uh, path to you know to success or yes. to, to, to some people like drilling a lot you know some people just need to drill it into their minds you yeah. know for them to learn my brother and i were like that a little bit but never really too much either you know we were always just kind of like what we would do is we'd work backwards from a problem you know like yeah. let's say the heel hook situation my brother and i we both got heel hooked really bad when we first did the adcc trials as kids you know we got our knees and ankles popped damn so we we're so we, Gr growing up we had only done like ibgf style competitions right and there's no leg locks so right. we were just we were, doing, we were doing great on everything except for that. I think we both made a couple matches, you know, smashing people from the outside. And then we finally got leg locked, both of us. And so we walked away limping. We're like, okay, we got to figure this yeah, out. Yeah, I remember the next saw. day we're all limping around like New York. Mom's like, stop limping. You're fine. Uh, I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, it hurts. Mom's a savage. <laughs> She's a savage. She's a savage. Yeah. She's She's a savage yeah. yeah. And I remember we get to the garage and we get we just put each other in the hook, you know. And figure it out. We work backwards. Unwind it. Yeah. So then we'll work backwards technically. And then it's, and then it's boom. Then it's training. Like, God, what a blessing to have another person who's involved it, in the walk. It wouldn't have been possible. Usually it's one person. This person might be really talented but don't have the same dedication but you guys have each other man so I mean, it took like, like six months straight of every day just like figuring out that 50, like the heel hooks and like he said starting from it's just starting from the problem starting from the heel like what's what's creating the torque okay this it's the hips it's the grip it's the feet okay so we need to close the distance the first thing right yep. and, you know heel slip to you know it's just figuring out step by step mm -hmm. like that but also to, to your credit like that that's just the kind of transformation jujitsu like leg locks and heel hooks and yes. you know the 50 50 guard like all that stuff started popping off yeah everything's kind of like thing. it's cyclical if you kind of like if you really like focus on it like i think it was more so because leg locks were always considered dirty yeah you know like back in the day in brazil if guys are doing leg locks they're throwing shoes on the mats and plastic mm -hmm. bottles and stuff it was just yeah, no one liked leg locks right. like they're very frowned upon so it was like obviously let's take the one thing that no one really did just because it was kind of like against the rules even though yeah. it wasn't and fixate on it yeah and people ran with that it. was john that was uh dean donna lister and, and donna hers exactly. uh, dean lister, right? yeah, they, yeah they would do that but then in the ufc was that remember Pal palaharis palaharis yes. Pal yeah. and he he, he would yeah. he would know, pop people's he was a dick and people Nasty. hate him <laughs> he was, he was, he was, no, no, it's called a it. dick <laughs> but, but I, that guy that guy tried to blind jake jake shields i saw it that, that guy was a dick well, gnarly. yeah he do some like gnarly it. stuff but i remember <laughs> i remember when nate was getting ready to fight him we were training with nate and nate's a high level black belt he's been doing a long time and right. even he was like in the weeds with those leg locks yeah. and i was like oh shit this isn't mm -hmm. like they had to bring in a special. I think it's really cool though. The, the way you talk about it. Yeah, they started yeah. specializing. Guys who yeah, were like sure. specialists at it, like, uh, you know, Paul Harris and then yeah. the other black belts are like, I don't know this language, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was scary. It's so scary, those ankle locks. And then you've seen it go all full circle. You see, like, like Nikki Ryan, for example, you know, I remember he was amazing leg locker, leg locking everyone, you know, and then, uh, I had a really good match with them, you know, and shut down all of his leg locks. And then after that, he turned into like a really good wrestler. Yeah. You know? mm. Boom. And then you see all this. Now there's the big wrestling push right now. Everyone's becoming a good wrestler again. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I was going to ask you that. Like once everybody figures out the, the, the like in, in anything, whether it's a boxing gym or jujitsu gym, if you're in the same with the same group of people, it starts getting incestuous. Like you can tell somebody's got patterns. Yeah. So you're like, I know what this guy's going to do. Yeah. So now you're ahead of him. So he's, he's, a, he's a whatever, he's an ankle lock guy or he's a triangle guy or boxing. He's going to judge. shut it down. And yeah, you can shut it down. So like one of the things, I guess that's where competition comes in because you, you, you're seeing looks you've not seen before. It's not what you see in, the, in your gym, right? right? Do you bring people in who, you, who, who are different that way? Is that how you stay sharp or do you... 
definitely you, if you can it helps you know sometimes yeah. you don't always have that ab ability but for sure if you can i think one thing that we've always really focused on just something that we could just do with each other is just focus on our reactions mm -hmm. even when i teach seminars like this is what i tell right when i start the seminar like most seminars i go even before i teach like before we teach any techniques today i just like the main thing i want you guys to kind of get through your mind is like you know re how important reactions are it's like it, kind of take it away how, how we, we, we go over reactions well yeah it's just it's it's all about timing even for his whole adcc performance this last one you yeah, know that in particular uh, that like, in particular yeah. yeah yeah there's this it's really even hard to explain to be honest with you you know but there's certain techniques that can as long as you react in the right time you know you neutralize it you neutralize it right. and, like because you know, you're behind there, there, there is a reaction for every technique mm -hmm. every technique there's a reaction uh -huh. for uh, there's an escape there's a defense for every technique out there mm -hmm. right? yes and even if there isn't there's there's one ready to be made yeah you know? so it's really just understanding and adding that to your to your your quiver of techniques you know like it's, it's Cause you don't need to sense. know every single technique you know but as long as you have a reaction you know for every single you know problem that occurs yeah exactly. then then you're going to be able to win the match that's like someone my friend Audes right now that we're trying to explain to him because his jiu-jitsu is amazing shout out Audes. A, a, a lot of really good jiu-jitsu but he makes a he still makes a lot of mistakes you know and gets I guess him in trouble sometimes at the end of the day it's just whoever makes the, the least amount of for mistakes. Sure. Yeah. Especially at your level almost yeah. something as simple as this like ty like grab this like this right here like like a collar grip boom like a collar grip before i used to like try to break this with all my power but we're fighting these adults and these guys are twice three times our strength they're never gonna break this grip yeah. you know but like the second like say we're standing i can you know boom they go drop stare noggy whatever the case is i cannot break this yeah the second i duck under it it's so useless like this oh, grip wow. is useless. I could go outside single knee taps. It's pointless to have this grip, right? I could start kind of rushing tying. Oh, that's just you adapting and too. I just, like I can't break the grip. Yeah, right? but I have to react to it. So I could put it in a position where that grip is now useless. If that makes I sense. Love that. Yeah, I it's love an advantage that. for I you. Love yeah. That. yeah. I can't wait till somebody grabs my fucking jaw. Thunder, and I'm gonna be like, Rutolo technique, yeah. two on one Rutolo. here, and drive. Yeah, like, grab Rutolo. that fucker. Rutolo. Look at my gable grip. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I can't wait. Do you guys ever Train get stressed out? You guys seem pretty stress free, man. Well, I was gonna say, you guys about are that. young, stress on, on free. That, on that yeah. point, this guy clearly just came back from Costa Rica, yeah, fresh off the boat. Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but there's a Chest level out. when you yeah. mass like the, when you're working for mastery. Like what I was, I was listening to you talk. When you're working for mastery like this, and you're getting so good at something, and always staying sharp. I correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you you naturally will end up having to live a clean life in one way or another. So. So they're like, there's no, there, there's no room for bullshit or lying on the mat. Like 100%. you've got to be honest with yourself, and there's always somebody breathing down your neck. So you've got to constantly that that process of like it requires a certain amount of self restriction. You, there's you, no room right? for complacency, really. No, yeah, yeah and that requires dedication. Excellence. Yeah, it's like excellence. Sure. It's life mastery. You know, because you're talking the way you talk. You guys are saying stuff that I like. There's no true way, right? There's all different kinds of way. You would never understand that unless you had done what you're doing. And I always say there, there are two things I was thinking about a lot. There are a lot of people I know, they might be successful, they might have a, a, an audience, but most of their life has been spent listening to what people say and re listening about life and, and reading reacting. about life. Right. Yeah. They're not doing life. There's something about putting your hands on the world, 100%. literally. Where you learn things you could never learn from a book. So I could read all the I can read as much, I can read all the books on jujitsu. Mm -hmm. I can I can read every I, I'm never gonna understand You're not jiu doing it, right. Yeah, unless I do it. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I feel like you guys are like this too. Again, going back to your parents, taking you guys out of school, folks on jujitsu. Some people are like, oh, but they didn't have friends and stuff. Like, no, no, no. No one did they have friends. They had more friends than probably your kids in this weird school. More real right. friends. Uh -huh. Yeah, real, legit friends. Exactly. And then yeah. also you guys were like working on something. Got the other kids experience a lot yeah. too, you know, with, you know, traveling, different gyms, you know, different, you know. Like the education your parents gave downs, you is yeah, not it's life. Nuts. It's incredible. It's way, life it's way better. And it's also too, like it's not like we were just like little gym rats too. At the same time, we were at the, we were at the beach most of the day. You know what I mean? Surfing, so. Dude, it's going to be really awkward when I bring my son to your father and tell him to raise him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is My son That's is yours so until he's 20. Dude. See you when you're 20. Bring son. him to Costa Rica. We got camps going. Bro, dude. what a That's great time. Let's Let's do do yeah. Jiu-jitsu and surfing camps? Yeah. That's, what, that's yeah. pretty much this whole, this dude, whole year. Dude, is there any room for me? You guys figured it out, dude. <laughs> that's, our, that's our favorite. We've been going ever, uh, there ever since we were little. I spend my dad's like, his little hidden gem is Costa Rica. Yeah. He, where, where are he's happiest Rica? there. He, the North Pacific part. Are you familiar with Tamarindo? A little bit. 
bit, yeah. yeah it's um, about an hour south, yeah, Tamarindo. It's, around, it's right where the jungle meets the ocean. Uh, where did we go, B? We went to yeah, Hakka. Uh, Hakka, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. You guys are a bit down there, yeah. yeah. More that, that's more bit. like touristy and shit. Yeah. Yeah. There was a huge yeah. crocodile on the beach, and exactly. I was like, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro. There's a lot more crocs down that way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you yeah. seen and that down that way? Not where you guys are? There's less. There's the, some. You, you get and the rainy season, they come out a lot more. In all the rivers, they kind of no, flood fuck out. Fuck all of that. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen them while you're surfing? <laughs> I've never seen them. Uh, all, all the I've, boys have. You know, I've never I've seen them. Friends friends yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. all of that. Because they're the yeah. saltwater crocs too, right? That's right, sir. No, no, no. They're brackish water. They'll eat you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not yeah. Nile crocs. They're, they're American crocodiles. A little less aggressive. Get up to 25 feet anyway. You yeah, strong. Co- Costa, Rica, <laughs> Costa Rica, in the s- south part where we were, you got to worry about crocodiles yeah. and mm, prostitutes, right? Yeah. I didn't know sure. that. Yeah. I didn't know that. We went to a bar and I was like, <laughs> dude, we went to a bar. Why is there yeah. 3,000 women? Brandon. Literally. <laughs> dude, that's just, oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 away from I you. literally, I was like, I need a condom for my body here. This I was like, hold on. I know pros when I see them. Yeah, Literally, like we walked in, I was like, Am I? Is it my sweater? What are these girls? They all. I know. We at? walked in. I was like, oh, "What the I guess hell? I'm Where's all the I dudes? At? <laughs> Not to sound gay, but where's all the <laughs> dudes? <laughs> yeah, there's studs over there for oh, sure. Bro, I was like, like, "We need to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to get divorced. I gotta leave." Yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I was like, "We gotta get out of here. Twenty bucks. <laughs> bro, it's it was like, it's like, <laughs> oh, don't say it. Food's good. ATM machine. We only have dollars. Y'all go swim with the crocodile. Yeah, that place is interesting. It's like Bangkok. I remember last time we were in. Bangkok oh, it was that, that it was too hectic. We we're walking, right? We were with, we're with Wardo. The, we're walking, and next thing you know, I just feel someone grab my hair and start oh, okay. pulling, and I'm I get knocked off balance a bit, and I was like, I was like rattled, like like who is this? And then it was like some I couldn't even a little I don't know lady what it boy, was. yeah, lady something boy, yeah. hectic. A lady boy. Well, I was, get, I was doing that movie. <laughs> they loved him over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, 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 <laughs> I was all love. Uh, I got no yeah. love. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it was like, well, bring us the hair. It's very funny. Brian got a little trouble out in Thailand too. I did a movie you probably haven't heard of, Hangover Two. And bring up my character in Hangover Two, and let me show you what I look like because I got when I was dressed like this, I got more uh, looks. Women were all about it. Uh, just bring up my character. That's the first one. I put <laughs> no, 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 second one, the second one, right there with the, with the curly right hair. Hangover part right. two. Yeah, that one. Okay, I, I oh, look a little the bit. There hair. you go. I had my my skin was dark, Say and I had a, I had that yep. wig. I look. I mean, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm like your uglier older brother. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but but they I were feeling you. But the girls were all feeling me. The lady boys. Because we they shot like it. No, we shot it in in a in a real strip Night club. Soy cowboy. We were there in a real strip club. Those are all real strip. And we're doing that. And then when I took my wig off and I took the makeup off, they saw you. They were like, oh, gross. Yeah. Oh, no. No. You wouldn't be that way, but you know. No, they still love you, dude. Come on. <laughs> I love it. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's a, like a wild cowboy. place. I'm pretty sure I remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> my yeah, my buddy, the, 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 the lady boys there, my buddy, we were there. We went to see the lady tell, boys. Tell me how you got fooled. Show. Tell, because it shows what kind of guy you are. Well, they're the nice <laughs> guy. <laughs> nice guy. Tell him this well, is a prime this example. Prime. Yeah. Check for the Adam's apple. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, we no, we're still check. dating. We're still dating. Yeah. We're he, still didn't, dating. No. he didn't check. And they see he's. Well, no, that was. That was, New pause, York. Pause. that was New York. Oh, was that New York? Oh, New York. Oh, you just gave it. No. Oh, no, New York. I was. I met this beautiful. I thought we were talking Puerto Rican, Thailand. Puerto Rican girl. She was adorable, like with a tight little ponytail. So cute. Her skin. I was just like, bro. Uh, we were dancing. I, I it was a breaking dance. Bro, 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 I was young. Uh, I was handsome. <laughs> we're dancing. I'm feeling. I'm touching her. She's Make like, this. dude. I'm looking at her. She had these almond eyes. I was lost in her eyes. And I was swear to God, I was like, this is my girl forever. This is my girlfriend. <laughs> she smells more. so fucking good. And there, she had a, a an apple bottom. Like I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then there were these phone booths. These phone booths. And I took her in there, and I was fucking. And drinking, I was just bub slapping, oh, and, and, and no. kissing like like she owed me money, like kissing like like it was the last woman on earth. And then I reached down and I went, uh oh, yeah, uh, hey, uh, hey, that yeah, handful of. I hope that's a hernia because that, that feels a lot like a dick. Uh, tell what you did. Well, here's, after that, uh, here's the best part. Stop. I pulled back. Brian's a sick guy. I pulled back, and I could see her look. She was so like crushed. Because I just was like that. Right. And, and you got the, a thing about, the thing about God. me is I can't hurt anybody's feelings. Yeah, I just it. can't. 
I went back in and kissed him a little bit more. <laughs> so I knowingly kissed a man. I said it here and I said it out but loud. You did it not to hurt her Dude, feelings. I said it not to hurt his feelings. And then I pretended I had a stomach ache. <laughs> I went, oh, oh, my stomach. And I had to get the fuck out of there. Wow. I didn't want her to think him, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Now, I was in, when I was in, when <laughs> we were in the lady lady was, was the nicest guy. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Dude, I'm a nice guy. Uh, I right. couldn't hurt her feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I can be that nice. I can, you or that good of an actor. No, you would. I'd be like, oh. No, you can't oh. hurt me. You're the same way I am. You cannot hurt people's feelings. No. And you're a. I'd be like, take all my money. And you're also a little bit gay, right? So. The, I don't think so. Don't <laughs> hey, also, side note, I think you knew that was a lady. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That, that, there was a lady boy that was all over Brody Stevens. The late Brody Stevens. <laughs> the late great Brody Stevens. Yeah. And she was. This, In Thailand. This, this, yeah, this was a man who was a woman. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I've never seen a woman this beautiful and this was a man and I said to Brody I go, <laughs> I I go, I go Brody I go if you have it's sex bizarre. with this person you are not it's gay bizarre. you are not gay <laughs> You could have stopped at the first story, man. Let's change the subject. Let's change the subject. (laughs) Back to (laughs) jujitsu. Let me run my fingers through your hair, bro. (laughs) No, it's it's so cool. You you guys you guys have a pretty like laid back vibe. Like uh, stress? When when do you get stressed? Pretty low. What's that time you two got stressed? Before I feel like competition days, there's a lot yeah. of stress always. Yeah. And then after yeah. that, it's pretty smooth sailing, you know. But as far as do, life how do you deal goes. With that? How do you deal with that competition? Just you just show up. You just do what you know. Just show up. It's just been doing our whole life. Three. Yeah. It's, since it's, they're three, it's, it's just all a reaction. The promotions it's always reaction. yeah, there's all this extra stuff. At the end of the day, it's just a match, you know. So just try not to make it more than that, you know. You, you guys have girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah. Does that ever cause issues? No. You know what I'm saying? No, no. It's funny because I'm a year and a half in. He's a week and a half in. Oh, like, a week yeah. and a half in. Brand new. Damn. New. So she, it must be weird that she's attracted to your brother as well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we've, got, we've heard that a lot. But yeah. it's funny. They try to act like they know. No, no. You guys yeah. are so different. So like, different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, oh, you're so much better looking than your brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like we're identical twins. Identical yeah. twins. So classic. Identical. Have you ever broken up with a girl and then had her? Well, you're so young. So I guess, you know, I imagine. You bring no, up no this, is, like, this is if you don't like me one. this, you, this is your first girlfriend and you've had a few i've had two or this is my second yeah i've had one yeah, oh, shit. it's different especially at your age at 20 you know you guys are in costa rica competing here traveling yeah. here so they, yeah. they'd have to get used to the schedule exactly. yeah i've all over the place it was just man it keeps you out of trouble though it's God, crazy how much more focused it keeps you it's oh, yeah. yeah it's unbelievable it's yeah. so beautiful okay the last like six months been like dude die you need to be on it, dude. You know, yeah, yeah. he's all fired up. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about, dude? Just because you know, he's all <laughs> wiped up now. He feels like he's all focused. Love it. I know, good, the the yeah. question I always have is like, I guess every kid is different. And sometimes regular school is good for some kids. But I, I don't know if you'd ever regret taking your kid. You'd know more. What do you think about this? Like taking your kid and just getting them really good at anything like that. Or, or just is it not for every kid? It's not for every... Like there's some kids... Even my son's team out. now, who I was like, oh, that kid needs to stay in school. Yeah. They're like, I think their dad, <laughs> yeah. they're, yeah. like their dad knows, their, their dad knows, he knows he's straight he's up. Yeah. yeah. And their dad's Put been around the game school. long he's enough. He's a lawyer, where, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The kid's yeah. going to be a doctor or whatever, but um, baseball's not for him. But um, their dad recognized, he's been around high level stuff. So you, you can tell. Yeah. You can, you just can't tell. And people are like at four, I'm like, yeah, you can tell. You can tell. I knew my son was going to be athletic at, you know, two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he put a ball in his hand. like, yeah, all right, he might be a little bit of an outlier. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. then with, with them, the, you know, the dad, you, when you just, you're around it, you just know, you're like, oh, yeah, these kids can do it. Mm-hmm. If we put them on the right path, you know? Yeah, find your calling and then pursue, yeah. J- j- That's j- life. You, you guys are so fortunate. Basically, three, you found your passion. That's what most people get in trouble. They graduate college or whatever, and they haven't found their passion, and then right. depression sets in or whatever. Or they go to the military, and they get done. They're like, what right. am I supposed to do, man? You guys are so 100%. freaking fortunate so that your dad instilled this in you, and you guys are flourishing with it. A you grad, know? A thousand temper- That's what we're so blessed every day for that. Exactly. Your dad deserves a freaking award, man. As, yeah, as a dad, like, God. Both of our parents say the, the best. The cojones yeah. your fu- fucking father had to envision this and then it works out yeah. you're talking one in fucking 50 million yeah. you know what i'm saying and not only did he do it with one he did it with fucking two yeah mm-hmm. nuts Beautiful. nuts unreal it's also sure. a support system man yeah they well we all that's kind of i think that's why we always like we don't really too too much think of our money as like our money is kind of like our money you know what i mean family. so that's like yes yeah, the family's money it's like 
every you know all of our like our one bonuses whatever all of our cash flow for for the most part it's like shared throughout the, the family. family it's going towards the that costa rica house the gym things to like kind of just set up so it's the family the it's yeah, more it's, dope. So and the, it's the big pictures of family that's how it should you, you have sisters yeah, or anything like you just, yeah we got a little sister. Well, you do. Yeah. she's a badass too right how, how she's gnarly. Badass. Yeah. she Savage. was the best growing up you know how, how old she's, is she's she? so gnarly she's uh 14 now. oh my god yeah Aww. she uh she kind of she was feeling the pressure of like our brother and i you know she we go to the comps like oh you're fine the rotola bros little sis you know and she was kind of starting to get over she's so cute and she's a little badass too she's a little badass and she's Whatever she does in life, she's gonna be successful. She's she's awesome. I think Aww. she she's a beast for sure. And is she's, she in school? She, uh, no, yeah, yeah, she's she's, she's homeschooled as well because she started homeschooling right when you know her jujitsu was starting to take off. She was an animal, and then uh, she started getting phys like we'd show up to the competitions and be like, oh, you're. It's the brother, sister, the, the Rutolo sister, you're fighting, you know, and she'd feel all this like pressure. Oh, There'd be bet. extra cameras or I whatever, bet, you know, and mm -hmm. she was just, like this little girl, you know what I mean? I think it's as, a lot as young girl. boys, you could still kind of handle it, yeah, you know, for, for sure. a little girl to have that it's much a pressure. Lot, man. It was how, a lot. how did she handle it? She, she and was, and she, she just, it, she started getting a little more burnt out as far as she, she just wasn't as like passionate about it. And you could see it, and then you, you don't want to force it. She started like anymore. modeling and becoming more of a girl and doing girly Good for things, her, you know? Yeah, she found her She was modeling for like Nike and Crocs and Uniqlo and. Wow. Yeah, all these so proud of her. All these yeah. brands, dope, she's man. killing it. It's yeah. classic because she always just wanted to do what we did in our whole lives, you know, just like serve, train, you know, like little mini us. And now she's like doing her own thing. She's so starting to become kind her of own a little trip. person. You know? For her, especially at fourteen. No, yeah, for sure. no, she's, she's maturing so fast. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm, you know, I remember when I was her age, we shared a flip phone, right? A flip phone. Yeah. We shared one. We were the only kids at Jiu Jitsu class with the flip phone. Ball and she's got this brand new iPhone. Four, same, <laughs> the, it's the iPhone is the same as her age. She's like an iPhone 14 or something. Like, that, that's not supposed to work like that. I'm like, no, that's that's so like, this cannot happen. Yeah. You know? well, what do you guys, um, do you think about the next 10 years of what you want to do? Do you want to keep competing? Do you want to keep like, winning? Take advantage of my prime and then just retreat to Costa Rica and just surf every day and really? like that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Isn't much. That funny, man? You're Surfing you're not, though it's scary, you're not even in your prime. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as you guys have been doing it, what, you probably... 26 might start getting a little dicey 27 yeah a little right. dicey, wow. <laughs> <laughs> dicey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, no, you can, you can sure. keep your your prime will probably be in your up to 30 no uh, bubba no no, no no far from it far from it yeah, yeah. gordon ryan's 28 28 so I, I think it also depends everyone starts young now right so like the crop of the 20 year olds are like the shit right well th those guys are going to age out in the younger crop but why wouldn't you get it's better not like in your fighting. 30s though. it's not like fighting really? why no. not I don't it's understand. just different because the, the thing about mixed martial arts i feel like is there's so many martial arts you can't master muay thai boxing jujitsu no. it's you know how hard it is to master jujitsu or to master <laughs> And boxing one alone, yeah. want just one alone yes, yes. and then to to be able to mix them all together it's it's I, I was just talking to someone the other day i was like considering an extreme you talk about like extreme sports you know i consider like surfing not really an extreme sport big wave surfing an extreme sport Super when extreme. they're out there like yeah any one of those guys can die on any yeah. given moment you know and it's like it's, i couldn't i don't even fathom how they do that yeah you know there's like those wingsuiting guy like there's some things that i'm Squirrel like suits yeah there's Nuts. i would never you know what i yeah. mean and then like, i look at mma and i consider it like an extreme sport only yeah. because there's so many i mean Factors. elbows it's knees, wild G -g there's so, so many, many ways to lose it's wild it's wild and so you don't have any everything even from the weight cuts guys fucking die from the weight cuts. wild you know what it's, i mean it's, it's a wild. lot of variables that people aren't even really aware of it's not something you've ever thought about right it's not no, 110 he has yeah. you have, you're i want to do it right? soon yeah. yeah you do yeah yeah i've been training yeah Shit. this is my this my argument with that is you're like you guys are one of the few faces of jujitsu like you guys are such tip of the spear you're doing it just because it's a thing you want to do, like because you're you're you've made it in jiu-jitsu. So I never understand like Mikey Meshamushi, Meshamushi, Musa Meshamushi. 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 Yeah, yeah. He was talking about MMA, and I was just like, yeah. why though? Like why, man? Yeah. Yeah. Like you guys are these outliers, and you come over here, it, you know. And mm -hmm. granted, you guys are gonna be damn good, but to be an outlier, it, you know, it's gonna be. A I've had a handful tough. of people say, say that too. Like, man, you guys are paid a lot of money for just one jujitsu fight. Like, why? Why get punched in the face, brother? It's fun. I love yeah. it. For Kate, <laughs> it's, it's something to check off the bucket list. For us yeah. both, we both we not even check off the bucket. Like, you know, I was just thinking about this semi recently too. Is like. I was thinking about my my lot like what do i want to be known for as far as like my legacy you know and like i was thinking man you could go try to win you know world six times or adcc six times or whatever and i was thinking like yeah, i can do that but like 
I'm like, it would be super sick if I could, you know, get a black belt world title in the gi. It's, it's already hard enough to get one no gi and gi, you know, but so if dope. I could get one in the gi, you know, I'm an ADCC world champion, right? So if I could get the, Big deal. you know, uh, get a gi world championship, uh, an MMA world championship, you know, get the one title, maybe, you know, eventually whatever goes from dope. there, UFC, whatever it may be. But just, uh, I just want to be able to secure titles and like, you know, MMA, jiu-jitsu. What kind of Who striking knows? are you I doing? That. Who's teaching? Uh, recently, I've been working just a, a bit more boxing. Uh, I've been working a bit with Perillo, Jason Perillo. Oh, yeah. He's a man. I love coaching. One of the best Super, one of the, to ever do it. To wow. ever do it. He's yeah. the man. All Nothing but Where, where is he at? Down, down, uh, down He's Ruka gym. Yeah, 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 exactly. They, they, that whole Ruka thing's kind of been a, it's been fizzled out. They're starting something new now. And a, a, Yeah, that's right. They, sh they shut down Ruka? Yeah, yeah. Some um, drama you basically get into within it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whatever drama within the brand. But basically, Pat Tenori, the founder of Ruka, the, the heart and soul of Ruka. Uh, he's no longer a part of it. He's doing his own new thing. And cool. uh, it's going to be massive. I think Perillo is going to be a part of it. And uh, so, yeah. Are you picking up on, do you feel like you're picking up on boxing quickly? A hundred. I mean, I, I like to think so. Yeah, for sure. I well, feel, you, you, I feel I, kind of coming home with all this clip. I draw this guy in this body shot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. Cause you've been, you've been watching the human body move for a long time. So right. I always say, like if you see a guy like Yoel Romero is a freak athlete, but still guys who've been wrestling on a high level, if you've been watching somebody's body move for that long, yeah. you get a sense of space and distance. You get an understanding sure. of patterns. And I mean, we grew up say, watching all the UFCs. We were, we were always a fan of fighting. You yeah, know what I mean? And yeah. then, and so now that I just feel like that I'm actually doing, I, it was almost just like I put the last six months. I'm just like, I just want to fight. Like, I just want to do it. It's, it's, I, I'm learning something new every single day. I step in there and I'm addicted to that. I'm addicted to that. And very, you have a path fresh. with one championship too. Right. You, know, yeah, you guys exactly. are right there. Damn. Exactly. You know, and I feel like Kato was always like an, an easier conversion than you would take like a normal jiu-jitsu guy because we even had like a solid six, seven years of Muay Thai growing up and you we did. always knew how to throw somewhat like more like punch. four years. Jiu-jitsu, like it's always so much pushing and pulling, you know, it's like that's why none of these guys, you know, it's hard to have like snap to their punches, yeah. you know, a lot of us. So I feel like Kato actually has good snap on his punches, you know, he's... He's making the conversion really well, you know. Really so cool. yeah, I'm excited Athletes. to see him. I mean, sure. we we grew up fighting each other every day without gloves, like yeah. fighting. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like all the time. Like, knuckle, would you, would you, guys, you guys go at it day, all the yeah. time? Like, all like the time. as in like when you get mad at each other or just messing around? I remember when he got his first girlfriend, and I I don't know we were, we were talking shit. You know, I think I was just getting jealous because she he was, he was just hanging out with her all the time. We were just you know I was not surfing whatever. Yeah. We were just like I'm bored. I'm just gonna start talking. You know, I was talking shit to him or whatever. He got so pissed. I remember this one vivid, yeah. vividly, yeah. I vividly. Like I remember. That, yeah. We start yeah. strapping don't right, whatever. Like that. I realize how much intensity he's coming at me with. Right, so I do a little retreat to like one of the parents' bedroom, and I like pinned myself in the back, and he tackles me on the bed, and I'm pinned like, in the corner, and he's choking me. With two hands like like and i couldn't get him off because i was pinned in the corner and i'm like i'm going out <laughs> and i'm tapping but he's not letting go you know I'm like oh i'm gonna go out i can't get, and finally like, he gave me this scar here on the eyebrow this one. not that gnarly but like it's definitely yeah, you can pre see it. Pre prevalent oh, yeah. yeah for sure we've had our fair share oh, you that's know great your dad's like hey what the fuck yeah yeah often yeah we try not to do it in the family house you know like a 20 that, minute yeah, boxing match on the beach one day we were just arguing in our apartment in san diego we we're just like hey, let's, you know, let's fight and we got our neighbors all around right so we're like we can't do it you know we're like not here not here so like, you put gloves like, on we're, 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 we're going, going in the, the car beach. with each other we're like side by side like i'm a awkward when we get to the beach yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's, that's rare for twins twins get along really well you guys are fucking but it's you're the crazy. same kind of person, so you're both fighters. So yeah, it's like it's, just, it's like I'm gonna fight myself. Well, you guys solve your problems too, too. Is that we're so competitive, so we can't let either of us win, get alpha. Yeah, alpha, you know yeah. And that's so, what it is. It's the alpha. Yeah. Thing. So it's, even like when we do fight, like that boxing match on the beach, it was so even for 20 minutes. <laughs> it was, dude. Oh, for just 20 minutes. Yeah. By the way, yeah. Yeah. we couldn't yeah. take yeah. each other down. There's a bunch of rocks, fat lips, and like people always say, you know, if we could just all realize we're the same. It wouldn't make a difference. Like you know how like two different cultures fight and stuff like that. Two yeah. different religions. We could. I I said this in my last special. I was like, we could all look like the same as penguins. And we'd find a reason to hate each other. Right. We'd sure. find a reason yeah. to fight. We just because you're over there and I'm over here. Fuck that's you. Just, yeah. It's in our DNA. It's in our DNA. You are, you know, and after just, under, I feel like that's why I've been so disconnected from my phone recently. Like that after understanding that is cool. I've just been so. And it's it's my manager hates me for it. <laughs> you know, like what does like, I do? You know, yeah, you probably right feel so much better not being. Connected. Oh my god! You stopped. You stopped. I, first, you know, I did phone? it on an accident when I first, uh, when I went to Costa Rica. This is probably like two years ago or something like three years ago. Uh, I went for a week. 
and I forgot my phone like on the way to the airport in my apartment and it was too late to turn back whatever I was like I'm not gonna not go though so we went and I and I was like the first four days just like you know checking like oh my addicted like, I don't to even it. Have yeah, it. yeah it's crazy yeah, yeah, yeah it felt like like a withdrawals and I was like this is not like good yeah. you know and, so now you just don't and without the, I went the whole week after the week like like the the last you know six whatever days it was it was just like like I had completely forgotten about it and all of the stress in my life like whatever stress I had I realized it was only because of that yep. I had no stress in my life yeah zero stress except for the whatever would come on my device you know damn so, I always tell people you know I'll make it when I don't have a cell phone it'll exactly. be the first thing I get rid of a hundred and ten as soon as something some things I'm working on goes your mm -hmm. boy's out mm -hmm. exactly you have to Done. come to my house old school knock yeah i'm gonna have a ring phone it's gonna yep. be sick there's only so much good that comes from it really that's why right? guys like, like you guys are important life. in this world because you like there's so much just negative like you just say negativity just oh, yeah. negative news spreads six People times faster than hate. positive right and hate. it's always just and, something and, negative and that's the way hate. like the, especially culture now the, like that's the way we're conditioned like the algorithm promotes hate pr right. promotes oh, negativity. so much where if, where if, you, if i post how great you guys are it might get three or four likes mm -hmm. if i post how horrible you are it gets 500 up. likes it's mm -hmm. like why are why as a society we like this man yeah rogan was talking about this recently he was saying like um he's like i don't think i want to do uh because I, 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 there was somebody I wanted to get on. I, I don't like, know why Rogan has on. a phone. Well, if I had his money? Yeah. 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 I, I agree. <laughs> no phone. Gone. 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 But he, he, gone, he, said, he said he got so he was so tired of the fucking negativity because right. we were talking about some guy. I was like, fucking have him on your podcast and call him out on this shit. And he goes, yeah, I could. But I think I'm tired of all that. I, I don't right. think I want to be negative anymore because it doesn't do anything. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not going to change anybody's mind. He goes, I, I just want to have people that I'm fascinated. I want to have conversations that are f interesting to me. Right. Yeah. And I want to just be positive. Yeah. And it's really interesting. It's like, it, it's a way better way to live your life. Because it's, are you really Bob changing Marley quote, he said, he goes, the greatness of a man isn't measured on how much wealth he acquires, but his ability to affect those around him positively. 100%. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. like how you 100%. Yeah. Community, Amen to that. <laughs> community, but you you know that's the other thing about when you get excellent at something, you're setting an example. That's why that's why they they took him down early. Yeah, I love, I love that real. clip. There's a clip. He goes, "Are you a rich man?" He goes, "What do you mean rich? Do you have you know uh, what do you mean riches? Yeah. You know cars and 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 houses. You you call that riches? You know." And it was a great thing because yeah, I was like, yes, was yes, I do. Yeah, and most people yeah. do. And he I was, was waiting for the boom <laughs> 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 clap. Why? The Go. Puerto Rican boom boom. God, that riches. I love that land. <laughs> land. Rude boy. Rude boy. Yeah, that was a good one. I'll soon come back. Yeah. yeah, my roommates in college were Jamaican, and they, they, when they'd start talking, you wouldn't understand a fucking. Oh, that's really. so fun, so yeah. classic. Like, what the fuck, dude? It's so entertaining. I listen to a lot of their music now. I've been getting to like a lot of like that Afro music. It's, it's, it's so sick. It's yeah. great. Very entertaining. I bet you do out in Costa Rica, just doing your thing. Exactly. Just cruising, reggae. Yeah, you guys are doing it right, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Island mm -hmm. breeze, I'm a freshen up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, Bob oh. Marley was talking about that. He was talking about how you know part of a huge part of his childhood was going to bed hungry. Like right. for real hungry, right, you know, yeah. and uh, and then you know just got to a point where he had this real talent and felt like his dad was white, his dad was British, and his mother right. was Jamaican, mm -hmm. and he kind of felt like this composite man. He felt like he had a responsibility to kind of bring people together, yeah, the way he had been brought together right. almost. You know, it was really cool. Did, now, did he? Wild did he? Did he get shot? No, he had cancer. cancer. He got a brain mm -hmm. tumor. Um, he had young a, too, right? Yeah, he had a twenty-seven. He had, yeah, he, his. He couldn't figure out why he was tired all the time. And then he would play soccer to try to get himself going. Mm -hmm. And then, then he just one day was like, this is not working. And he went to the doctor. Yeah. And they were like, you got a glioblastoma. Right. Um, so what, what's next for you, boys? What's coming up as far as jiu-jitsu-wise or one championship-wise? Yeah, so I, I think uh, one early, I think January 14th. There's two dates in January. Um, two cards. I think we're both going to be on. I don't know if we're both going to be on one, both going to be on one or the either. But... Definitely in January, we're both going to be on one event. Probably jiu-jitsu for those, and then following, hopefully, my MMA debut. Probably. Damn. Damn. That might nice, yeah, do you, yeah. But what weight do you, uh, you guys split it That's up? been the one thing, for MMA or jiu-jitsu? Jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu, uh, 170 and 185. Okay. So my brother just secured the 185 pound nice. belt his last fight, and then uh, I've so just you, been fighting that 170. So you're a little thicker. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thick boy. Thick boy. Wait, you're a little stronger. A little stronger, guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> guaranteed. Yeah. Probably a little bit. Start fermenting a little. 
Well, but more of an isometric strength. strength. I don't know about like a, split a off. punching punch. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> and there's DJ. He's already, it's a different type of strength. He's already going. Yeah, yeah, he might be strong. Strength. I mean, I don't know about punching though. He's not going. <laughs> and is, is there an opponent for those yet? Have they have they talked about opponents? Nothing yet. Um, I think uh, no, nothing solidified yet. I think they're talking to some guys. I think we're really trying to see what happens at this next Noki Worlds. See what who comes out on Pops top. Out, I'm thinking yeah, probably a Pedro cool. Mourinho. You know, Ooh, Pedro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he just called me out on that last one. Oh, sick. Yeah, he's all psyched. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I'm coming for you. He's all psyched. <laughs> yeah. Like it's loud, brother. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. It's always true. somebody, right? There's always somebody. And then, then your goal, someone, that, yeah. as you mentioned before, Gordon Ryan. That would ha how would what would we have to do to make that happen? Because it wouldn't be in one championship, right? Because he's not a one championship well, guy. He, he was signed to one. For he a was while. for a while. Yeah, and then I don't know what I think. I never really understood why he never fought for one, but it then it occurred to me that, that there was drug testing for one. Then it occurred to me. Yeah. I, mean, I don't uh, think you want. Two, I don't think anybody together. wants a piece of Ryan like when, Gordon when he's saucy and he's two thirty five. He's yeah, also he's, he's also tall. He's also yeah, he's a big guy. I mean, you, I mean, you could. Yeah. That's the, that. He, the people don't really realize how strong that man is. Oh. How, Physically, Luke, Ro Luke, Luke, Rock, uh, Luke Rockhold told me that he goes, they're strong, and then Gordon's there's Gordon Ryan. Yeah, he said he's really. so like, fucking. That's people. how you want him, though, right? Like you don't want a like an older Gordon Ryan. No, I want him. You want his prime. prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want him. He wants him. He's, he's going to be in his prime for the next couple of years. Yeah. You know, yeah. I feel like yeah, he's, he's in his twenties. He's still in his twenties. Twenty eight. Yeah. He's so great. He posted the thing when he shaved his beard. He goes, I'm Gordon Ryan and I'm 28 years old. Yeah, I'm not. He was looking either. old with that beard. Oh, yeah. Like, he looks he still dies, good. He dies in yeah. white, you know. He looks. Yeah, good. for sure. But uh, Well, boys, we appreciate it, man. You're a breath yeah, of fresh air, man. You guys are Thank fucking you guys. superstars yeah, across the board. Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are so great, man. Pleasure. The, best, the first the thing energy. Brandon said is, he goes, these guys have the best energy. The best energy. Look at him. He's great. Yeah, he does look a lot younger. He's so young. It's unreal. That's but classic. That boy's jacked. He is jacked. Yeah, he mm -hmm. is. He looked like us before he gained like 60 pounds. He looked on the right. Well, isn't it funny? <laughs> yeah. well, that, that's he looked like us. <laughs> like that, I love that muscle. he posted that, though. That was after <laughs> him being super. Yeah. That's that shit. Whatever's going on there, that's that's trend or something. That's some of that bodybuilding steroid. That's like know. everything and anything. Yeah. My wow. boy's jacked. All right, you guys. Got a <laughs> we appreciate you guys, man, so right much. On. Can't thank you enough. Yeah, thank, you so much, yes, thank, you thank you guys, man. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you guys for having us on the show. I'm a fan.